Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disown. Lenovo are launching some new ThinkPads, and the two I am most excited about are the X1 Fold and the ThinkPad Nano. Now, the X1 Fold I did see at CES in January of this year, and it is the world's first foldable PC. Lenovo has been beta testing it since January and have made some changes to make it better, and I'm extremely uh, excited to test it myself. Lenovo started the 2-in-1 category way back in 2012 with their Yoga line, so in 2020 they created a new category of mobile computing devices. Now it is available to order now, starting at $2,500 with a lead time of about 5 weeks. So that takes us into November time. Now powering it is an Intel i5 L16G7 processor. Now this has 5 cores with no hyper-threading. It uses one fast core based on the Lakefield architecture, which can boost up to 3 GHz, and it also has four small cores based off the Atom Celeron line with up to 2.8 GHz. When all five cores are active, the CPU can reach up to 1.8 GHz and has a base of 1.4 GHz. The GPU is similar to the Ice Lake Iris Plus, but only at half its clock speed, so about 500 MHz. So from a performance perspective, it's not going to be a speed demon, but you have to bear in mind it's got a 13.3 inch QXGA resolution screen that is 1536 by 2048 that does fold in half so it is small as a book. Now the beta testers have also been using the X1 Fold as their main computing device since January. And the feedback we have been given, it has been very good indeed. Now the memory is soldered on. It uses 8GB of uh, low power DDR4X at 4267 MHz and the storage can go up to 1TB using the shorter 2242 format. It is an NVMe drive so should be plenty fast. The panel is an OLED with 300 nits of peak brightness and of course it is, uh, has a touchscreen with pen support and will have 95% of the DCI-P3 color space. And the battery is a 50 watt hour and Lenovo claims up to 11 hours of runtime. And it only weighs 2.2 pounds and is only 11.3 millimeters thin. This is when it's unfolded. Now what changes have they made since CES? Well, they did modify the kickstand angle on the back of, of the device to improve its usability. They also refined the silicon bezel around it to improve durability and they put a lot of effort into their custom switching mode software so that you can select the layout that you want on the screen quickly and easily. The pen loop was also located on the cover but it has now been moved to the keyboard for a more optimum placement. They also improved the durability of the leather cover on the, on the device and as I stated earlier the testers have been using it as their main device. In the office, they would have it docked via one of its uh, two USB-C ports to multiple monitors using a keyboard and a mouse. And when they are mobile, you can uh, make use of its 5G or Wi-Fi 6 connectivity and its Bluetooth keyboard that can be magnetically attached to the screen. In doing so, the display automatically switches to the top half so it can be used like a regular laptop. The keyboard can be wirelessly charged as well. And of course, you have the active digital pen to make notes or do artwork, making it perfect for productive use on the go. Now, the big concern about a folding PC is, of course, the durability of the screen. And despite its thinness, it comprises of multiple layers. The first is the bezel, and the screen itself is made actually of five different layers, so as to be resistant to scratches and dings. And underneath, there are two carbon fiber plates that they interlock and these do act a bit like a sponge. Should the screen get uh, impacted, it allows uh, for, the, you know, for the screen to have a little bit of flex and it absorbs such impacts. It is then cradled into a frame cover and hinges so the screen is well protected. The second device is the ThinkPad X1 Nano, which at only 13.87 millimeters thick and 2.12 pounds is the lightest ThinkPad ever. It will be powered with up to an 11th gen Tiger Lake i7 processor with Intel Iris X graphics, so it will be a very capable machine. You get the same ThinkPad durability that we, we know and love, and with it being geared towards people who want a premium, lightweight device that also doesn't sacrifice performance. The battery is 48 watt hour, which they claim up to 13 hours of runtime, which is great. There are two panel options. Both will be 13.3 inch Dolby Vision with 450 nit and 100% of sRGB and a resolution of 2160 by 1350. One will be a touch display and this is going to be a great panel. It's going to be suitable for photo and video work as it has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. 
That's something that many people have been calling out for, for us because it gives you extra vertical real estate to work with. It's the same height as a 14 inch 16 to 9 screen, so it effectively gives you the working space of a 14 inch screen in a 13 inch body. The X1 Nano should also be good for media consumption as it has four Dolby Atmos speakers, as well as having four noise cancelling microphones on the top bezel that will offer 360 degree pickup, making it perfect for video conferencing. Now like the X1 Fold, it will be the first traditional ThinkPad notebook with a 5G and LTE connectivity, plus of course it will have Wi-Fi 6. And what I really like is their new set of security features, which include a human presence detection system built into the chassis. This automatically detects when you approach the screen, so it will wake it up and then using the Windows Hello Eye camera, it will actually then sign you in. Now if someone else wakes it up, they cannot log in. Now as you walk away, the X1 Nano will also log you out. The lid will be black for the non-touch model and carbon fiber weave for the touch model. And it will be available with either Windows 10 or Linux. And here's the real kicker. The starting price is only $1,600, which I think is very good for the premium features that you get on it. Of course, let me know in the comments below which, uh, you know, which of these models you'd like me to review. In case you are not already uh, aware, we do have a Discord channel on uh, my own at this zone. So I'll put a link in the description below. Now we do have 2,500 members and it is growing pretty fast. It's a good way of meeting new people and making new friends. So please feel free to join up. I'd like to thank you for watching. Bye now.